ran north before I could catch him. I called and called, but he didn't come back. Rain. He's the antelope with the silver chain around its neck. Open the cage, please! Please! You have to open the cage! The Jotun filled up on that antelope. But I don't like the way the big one was looking at me. The large one kept biting into the antelope and then grinning at me. I never want to see another Jotun for as long as I live. Jeddah went on about all the treasure we would find here. 
All I've seen are Jotun in trouble. A beautiful girl and great fun to be around. At first. Then she starts talking marriage and children. Uh, I'm not ready for that. I've been roaming the world since I was a child. Settling down just isn't my fate. Of course not. You believe that too? I just needed an excuse to get away. Marga has gotten a little too attached for my taste. Just my rotten luck that I stumbled into a bunch of Jotun. Can you get me out of here? Sweet girl, but wants a little more dedication than I'm ready for. I needed to get away. She'd go on about these stories her grandmother used to tell her. About creatures turning people into animals. She believed them, so there was my way out. I didn't reckon on getting captured by Jotun, though. Thanks. I owe you one. Do me a favor. Don't tell Marga you saw me. Thanks again. Something's happened, hasn't it? I can tell from your face. Did you find Orain? No, I can't believe that. Orain and I were made for each other. Made the whole thing up? I can't believe he'd do that. I wish the Jotun had eaten him when I get my hands on him. Please, take this. It was a gift from Orain. I won't need it anymore. I miss my family. I just want to go home. Why did I follow Orain to this cursed forest? He is nothing but a lying sack of Cruddock slime. My mother was right about him.
The season is upon us. The time of the flowering is come. Yet I fear there'll be no ceremony. No flowering. No joy. The flowering is our ballad. Odril's in mine, but he has not returned, so cannot play his part. Our story cannot be relived, cannot be retold. I do not understand how this could be. <laughs> when the time of the flowering draws near, Bodril arrives. It's then we set to work, he in his way, and I in mine. Only this time, he's delayed. He has not come. Yes, you might call it that. But I say, our woods, our streams, our ancient stones. We are theirs as much as they are ours. Every new leaf and boggart's dance I see brings joy to my heart. But nothing equals my joy at the flowering. Why, it is the finest, most miraculous thing. It is... No. There is no worthy description. But alas, Bodril has not returned. With no one to play his part, I fear it is not to be. I asked the mortal maid for help, but she refused. I have resigned myself to sorrow. Why, Bodril is... Well, he always returns to take part in the flowering. Only now the season has come, but he has not. Why, I cannot say. She was looking for one of her kind. I asked if she would help with the flowering. I was very patient. I explained that the ceremony was far more important than her lost friend. But she would not have it. Mortals. He does not go anywhere at all. But then, I would not expect a mortal to understand. Then I rejoice. Bodril's first task, your first task, I mean, is to gather the chrysalis. The chrysalis are seeds of sorts. You'll find them throughout the woods. When you've gathered them, Seek me in Brunwath Hollow. She came in search of things. A mortal boy, some ancient fragments. I do not pretend to understand the thoughts and workings of mortals. <laughs> 